Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own caption and then have it displayed in a table of figures at the end of your document. So first of all, I'm on the References tab and this is the area that I'm going to look at which is called Captions, this group, and then you've got Insert Caption there. So for example, let's say I insert a picture. So if I go for a picture from this device, and just bring a picture in so that picture there a screenshot just make that a bit smaller and i want a caption on top of that that's going to say picture so go back to references and insert caption now it's saying figure one and the options at the moment are these i don't want it to say figure one i want it to say picture one so you create new label and you type the word picture and then click ok and then you've got an option of putting this above or below I want it above so each picture I want it above click OK to that and then you get picture one there now if I press enter again and insert another picture again from this device a uh, picture of myself don't panic and then I want a caption on that one it's just remembering that uh, I picked picture so it's just gone to two Everything else is the same, so I can click OK to that and it'll go picture one, picture two, and so on and so on. Now, the whole point of doing that is so you can then reference that in an index at the end of the document. So let's pretend this is a 50 page document and I've got lots of pictures and I want an index reference at the end. So this is where you would insert a table of figures and it gives you the options that you've got and you get a preview and I don't really I don't want to modify I just need to click OK and then it will put that in there for me now these are hyperlinks if you hold your control key down this will hyperlink to that picture or that picture depending on which one I click so once you've done this you've got a structure in your document and then you can reference it at the end or wherever you put this little table now there are certain elements if I just get rid of this for a minute there are certain elements that you can auto caption so I'm, go I'm going to select the word tables which is in the same area but this this option here if I click on that you've got lots of things so every time you insert any of these it will automatically put whatever you select label wise on there so if I just come down to word table and tick that so it's going to go table you've got the options there so you've got my option there that I did but there's your table click OK to that and then if I just insert a table, just a blank table really, you see it's got table one there, I'll do one, insert table, and that's table two. And then the same thing happens now when you go back and you want to insert a table of figures, it's got the table, okay. And so if you want the picture table of figures at the bottom as well as the table table of figures you just have to go and do it again so insert table of figures make sure the label is on whichever one you want in this case picture and then just click OK so both of these would sit at the bottom along with an index reference that you might also also have and then you've got the hyperlinks like I said before with the control key to each of these elements now if you don't want it to say table one table two or picture one picture two when you insert the caption in the first place you've got the option there on the right of changing the numbers so at the moment it's on one two three so you've got abc and roman numerals etc and you can include chapter numbers and heading numbers if you so wish i'm going to leave this on one two three and just cancel this box off because i do want it like that and then cancel that so that's just a very quick video of how to use captions, how to insert captions, how to create your own captions, and then how to use the table of figures feature, usually at the end of a document. So you can reference back to the various elements through a bigger document than one page that I'm showing you now. So hopefully that's of use to you. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you in the next one.